Before I get started, first of all, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Darlene Curvilo, the principal here. And go ahead and be seated, please, everyone. And before we get started, also, please turn off your cell phones, right? Because we want the attention to be on our graduates, not on the cell phones. And I wanted to, first of all, thank all of you for being here. Okay, good evening. Again, I'm Darlene Curvilo, the principal of Irwin Colony High School. And I am happy to welcome all of you to this happy occasion our 2019 Irwin graduation. All right, let's give them an applause. Before we begin with our ceremony, I'd like to introduce members of our district who support our school and its mission to help students catch up and graduate, our school board. All right, so please stand if present when I read your name. First, we have Miss Ann Almeida. Thank you. We have Miss Fatima Amaral. We have Mr. Brent Chimpaneri. Mr. Luis Freitas. Mr. Tim Jones. Mr. Curtis Turisma. And Mr. Robert Machado. And of course, last but not least, our superintendent, Miss Isabel Cabral Johnson. And I must say, right, for such a small school like ours to have all our board members and our superintendent here says quite a bit of the support that we receive. So thank you all for being here. Okay. Now, also, right, the school doesn't run right with board members and superintendents alone, right? And so, of course, we have, and I'd like to introduce our teaching and our office staff who were key in helping our students reach this goal tonight. First of all, we have Ms. Laura Kudo. 
We have Ms. Karen McGee. We have Mr. Ruben Sicaros. We have Mr. Damon Solomon. All right, and I'm going to mention he's going to be leaving us after this year, and we're really going to be sad, but he made a very tremendous difference in our school this year, so we're really happy to have him. Thank you, Mr. Solomon. Yes, thank you. And then we also have Miss Mary Arias Romo, okay, who's not here tonight, but we want to thank her, of course. And we also have Miss Marlene Tesheda, who is here. Where are you, Marlene? Excellent. Thank you so much for all that you do for our school. Okay. And I'd also like to welcome and thank a most important group, the family and friends of our graduates tonight. Okay? With your love and support, you've made this day possible. So we really want to give you, right? Because <laughs> we know how it is as parents, right? A lot of those serious talks, and thankfully those ended up in a graduation. So congratulations. Now please stand as Mr. Damon Solomon leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. The flag's over here. We'll go ahead and start. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So of course this day is about the students, and we want to hear their voices. And so we are going to have a welcome, and I want to introduce right both Jared, Souza, and Teresa Havalera. Please come up, please. All right, let's give them a hand. They're breaking the ice for the other speakers. <laughs> All right. Good evening, family and friends. My name is Jared Souza. And we, the class of 2019, would like to welcome you all to our graduation ceremony. We are here before you, everyone and colony graduates, because of the encouragement of our family and friends. We would like to thank everyone who supported us, especially when we needed extra. We're glad that you are here today to share the rite of passage with us, our high school graduation. Thank you. Buenas tardes, amigos y queridos familiares. Mi nombre es Teresa Javalera. Bien, bienvenidos a nuestro gran día especial. Yo sé que este momento significa mucho para ustedes como significa para nosotros y nuestra clase. Gracias y felicidades a nuestra clase 2019 de la Escuela Preparatoria Irwin Colony. Aprovecho este tiempo para agradecerles a nuestros familiares por ayudarnos y apoyarnos en nuestra aventura. Gracias. All right, now we start with a number of graduation speeches, and I'd like to introduce Catherine Consoli, who's going to give our first speech. Come on up, Catherine. Hello, everyone. My name is Catherine Consoli, and I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Irwin High School's class of 2019. Before I get started, I would like to express my gratitude to my loving family. I credit much of my success thus far to them. They have allowed me to grow as a person, and even though I might not always show it, I am incredibly grateful for everything they've done for me. Prior to coming to this school, I was looking for a place that fit my style of learning, and as it turns out, that place was here. So I would like to thank Irwin for helping me excel and catering to my academic needs. It is because of the dedicated teachers and staff that I've been granted this opportunity to graduate a year early. They have pushed me to put in my full effort and open many doors that would have otherwise remained shut. In addition to allowing me to work at my own pace, the teachers provided me the help I needed to better understand the topics discussed in our lessons. This help is something I was never offered at my previous schools. I would also like to give my appreciation to our secretaries, Miss Mary and Miss Marlene, who through their kindness provided Irwin with a welcoming atmosphere that gave me a sense of belonging. The smaller setting allowed me to open up and form new friendships, which is something I would not have thought possible before coming here. The opportunities that have presented themselves to me because of Irwin have reshaped my outlook on life and education. Through Irwin, I have been able to achieve my goals faster than I would have anywhere else. Before Irwin, I didn't have any aspirations regarding life post-grad. 
Now I have decided to pursue college after discovering my potential through the encouragement of my teachers. My plan is to attend Merced College in an effort to obtain an associate's degree in marketing. And finally, I would like to say congratulations and good luck to my fellow graduates. You all possess the ability to be successful and see your dreams come to fruition. Next, we have Brendan Faria. Come on up, Brendan. Good evening. Thank you all for attending this special day as the seniors are ready to begin the next chapter in our life. I'm Brendan Faria, and I'm really glad I attended Irwin High School, not just because I need the credits to get back on track, but because of the people here. I'm actually, I actually wish I'd come sooner. When I arrived, I immediately felt welcome by teachers and students. I had friends to hang out with from the start. Ultimately, Irwin was such a good fit. With such a good fit, I decided to stay and graduate. There's a number of people I have to thank for getting me to where I am. First, I'd like to thank the teachers for all their hard work, helping us discover what we want to do in life, and getting us the, giving us the tools to succeed. I'd like to give a special thank you to Ms. Kudo and Ms. A. Thank you, Ms. Kudo, for keeping a happy energy flowing, always laughing, and having a smile on your face. I'm going to miss you the most. Also, thank you, Ms. A, for providing words of wisdom for me as I head into my future. I always thought this school was a place for bad. I always thought this place was was a place for bad people who didn't care what life had to offer. But I'm glad to, I realized that this is a place where you can feel safe, be with people who care about you, and find your success. Thank you, Irwin High School, for helping me earn the credits I needed to graduate and start the next phase of life. In the future, I plan on working with my grandfather at a shop and attend Merced Junior College and get my certification in welding. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to my parents for helping me get through school and being by my side every step of the way. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Irwin ended up being a great place for me, where one where I had fun times with the people here. Thank you for showing your support, and congratulations to the class of 2019. All right, next, we have Michael Martinez. Come on up, Michael. Good evening, everybody. My name is Michael Martinez, and I'd like to welcome you all to our 2019 High School. Irwin High School graduation. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family for always believing in me and always continuously supporting me. I got to meet so many good people throughout my time in high school from Willow Glen in San Jose to now Irwin High School. There were people along my path that brought me to today, encouraging me to stay on track and not give up. Some of the people that encouraged me were the staff and teachers at Irwin. I'd like to thank the teachers individually. First, I'd like to thank Mrs. Kudo for always keeping me on track with my work and putting in the extra time to help me with my classes, also being the chillest teacher I've ever had. Next, I'd like to thank Mrs. Carios for helping me with my film class and always being someone I can depend on if I need extra credit in my classes. Lastly, I'd like to thank Mr. Solomon. He's great. Uh, I cannot wait to see what awaits me in the future. I know high school has prepared me for college and the challenges that follow. I'm glad I got to meet so many good people throughout my time in high school. For my next journey through college, I'll be preparing myself for the medical field and getting to know more people in a career that I'm interested in. Thank you for coming tonight. Now we have Salvador Macareno. Come on up. Hello, my name is Salvador Massimino, and I've been attending Irwin High School for a year now. I'm here with Lucas Azevedo, uh, Angela Azevedo, and Dana Rodriguez, and we're performing Forever Young by Alphaville. <clears throat> this is the first ever music collaboration between Irwin High School and Kilmar High School for the Irwin High School gradu graduation ceremony. Before we start with the performance, I wanted to say that Irwin has provided me with a way to continue music even after I pass it to my cellular. This is why we're able to perform for you today. Please enjoy our performance. Thank you. 
This was not part of my speech, this first part, but looking out onto the crowd and seeing the tears from you parents and grandparents really touches me deeply. And I was not here at last year's graduation because I had a life-threatening medical situation. And graduation tonight just reminds me that really bottom line, it's our loved ones. It's these moments where we get to, that we get to share with them. I'm so glad that you're here tonight and to see your beautiful babies be able to graduate. It's a blessing. Um, I'd like to then go into my speech and I want to say to all of you, you did it. We're so proud of you. You accomplished one of the major milestones of life, a high school graduation. Tonight you're being recognized for meeting your goal of attaining a high school diploma. This diploma opens doors. Let me remind you that this graduation is the beginning of a larger journey of life. 
It is launching point towards a trade, college, a job. I hope tonight's graduation highlights what you are capable of when you set your mind on a goal that you that you take on your future goals with confidence that you're deserving a future success the road that lies ahead won't be easy okay look at these people out in the crowd they'll tell you it won't be easy there'll be potholes there'll be roadblocks there will be times when you wish you were back in high school okay right Right? When it was easier, right? <laughs> but you will know that there is no turning back. There is only moving ahead. And it's time to savor the moment, learn lessons from every failure, and always make the future brighter than your past. As you move towards the future, I want to give you a piece of advice. Don't listen to your own self-doubt <laughs> or to the negativity put out by others. When you feel overlooked for recognition by a boss, right? when it seems that everyone else in the class that you're taking gets it and you don't, has anybody been there before? Don't get angry. Don't get anxious, don't be insecure, but do get better. Work harder. Let your light shine bright. Erasing your own self-doubt and the negativity put out by those who spread negativity. In the end, success is always the best revenge. And success builds confidence. Not just because it feels so good, because even if you never change others' minds, at least you'll be improved yourself, right? While you're working to prove them and yourself wrong. And that's an investment in yourself that one, no one can ever take away from you. So tonight is your night. Enjoy your success. Be the light for others in your family, your friendship circle, your community, and make your own dreams a reality. Thank you so much for being here tonight, because this is just one of the many positive things that's going to be happening in your life. All right? So, again, I'd like to thank you for being here tonight, right? So we're close to the graduation part. So before that, I'd like to invite Ms. Cabral Johnson. She'll come up to the podium to say a few words, our superintendent. Well, I'm going to echo just what has already been said, and that's thank you, family and friends, for joining us here today. But most of all, congratulations and thank you, graduates. Thank you for um, everything that you have done to get to this point, to get to this graduation. Um, you have overcome many obstacles, and I think the um, true indication of success is encountering obstacles, facing them, and moving forward. And that's really what all of you have done. So I have no doubt that um, you will be extremely successful in life. So congratulations. We are all very proud of you. All right, guys. Students, please stand. I certify that the Irwin graduating class of 2019 have met all district and state graduation requirements and are hereby eligible to receive their diploma tonight and therefore have earned a spot here. So family, friends, Board of Trustees, and our Superintendent, Ms. Cabral Johnson, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the Class of 2019. 
on behalf of the Hillmar Unified School District Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to accept the class of 2019. You may now award them their diplomas. <laughs> All right, can we please have Mr. D Tim Jones and Mr. Curtis Charisma please come up to award them their diplomas. So I'll name off the graduates' names, and then they will receive their diploma. All right, I'll go ahead and name them off. All right. Come up for your diploma. Pearl Bolton, come on up. Excellent. Catherine Consoli. Brandon Faria. Come on up, Brandon. Teresa Avalera. Salvador Macarino. Michael Martinez. Jared Souza. Anthony Weger. Excellent. All right. We've got one more step to make this official. All right. And after this, of course, we do have cookies and we have uh, snacks for you. And please take advantage of uh, the different flyers and such we have up to take beautiful pictures. Okay. So, graduates. As a symbol of graduation, it is customary to have students change their tassel from right to left. Let's do, do this together. Students, place your hand on your tassel. Move it from right to left. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present the Urban Graduating Class of 2019. So of course you get to do the walk one more time.